a byproduct of grit is patience. Now, I've been saying a lot lately that the ability to not only hit the pause button, but it's the ability to actively wait when you hit that pause button. Now, grittier people have to let go of pettiness that needs to be right or front or front center of all things. Now, grit gives the benefit of doubt. It harbors no judgment. It filters things through a lens of compassion and grace. Grit develops wisdom and promotes kindness through having experienced and overcome challenges. Now, grit comes from a humble place, having seen more and realized that small things aren't really there to ruin your day. <laughs> Think about people that are like World War II veterans, and people come from that kind of a lifestyle, that the kind of character they have, amazing, right? People with high levels of compassion are happier people. And refugees from war-torn countries, well, they expressed a lot of gratitude and, and personal satisfaction later in their life after having been through so much. They've seen so much junk. Now, they, they tend to roll their eyes or they laugh at small things that other people just, they freak out over, they worry about. The term first world problems, it comes from the notion that developed countries have an inability to understand true suffering and challenges. <laughs> The people who have seen the worst in humanity, they usually develop a sense of compassion and patience for what it takes to walk through a difficult and horrible time in life. Now, they find joy easily in small things and worry less about things that stress those who, who've struggled with even more. So join me tomorrow for six ways to embrace the pain and achieve the gain as a person of grit. See you tomorrow. Get gritty!